As military modernization efforts continue for the U.S. Army, whether enhancing next-generation combat vehicles, developing a brand new family of military helicopters, or developing AI-driven groundbreaking technologies, the need for soldier touchpoints to test new products cannot be overlooked. Men and women in the military are the primary users of equipment on the battlefield and therefore a soldier-centered design is crucial to achieve the best combat capabilities. In an interview with Shepard Media, Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, Dr. Bruce Jetty outlined the role of touchpoints in shaping what the force of the future will look like. The soldiers, soldier touchpoints uh, have become um, uh, a much more deliberate part of specific set of acquisitions. That actually is a really good thing because we've in, in, we brought more soldiers in with more evaluations to assess the requirements and mature the products. We, we always had soldier-centered design from the, fact, from the perspective that we focused our efforts to make sure that the, that the systems we developed were best ones possible for the soldiers when they went, went to the field with it. This one gives us, the, the, it's not just that we're handing it to the soldiers, but we're handing it to the soldiers early enough that we can do some iterations with some evolution to the actual product itself. It, it's as much an opportunity to revise and improve the requirements as it is an opportunity to revise and improve the product itself. Uh, so that deliberate nature is what really is the value in, this, in the new approach to soldier uh, touch points. In this shift to adapt capabilities to personnel and not the other way around, soldiers are asked to give feedback from the prototype stage. Senior commanders believe touchpoints are paramount and will shape the way the army invests, designs and feels. In another interview with Shepard, Army Futures Command General John Murray shares his thoughts on the matter and highlights one of the programs to which soldiers' feedback has been revolutionary. Get that soldier feedback, you know, as you're developing and, and you're, you're buying, you're trying, and then you're deciding. You're not deciding up front and then developing. And so that constant iteration and the program that sticks out in my mind where probably been the most successful is the thing we call the Integrated Visual Augmentation System, or IVAS. And we're doing three-week sprints with the engineers. So we give the basically a next-generation night vision and a whole bunch of other capabilities rolled into it. Um, we put those on soldiers, and they, they take it to the field, and they experiment with it, and they provide the feedback directly to the engineers who, for three weeks, will then spin on the technology to, to accommodate and make the changes the soldiers recommend and then we do it all over again. We've been doing that for almost two years now. And I've, I've lost track of the number of hours. I think the last time I saw it was like 6,000 hours of soldier feedback. And so that's that's been an incredibly powerful thing, this concept of, of prototyping early and getting the feedback from the soldiers. And so we're not changing our priorities every year or two. The, the clarity of priorities, the clarity of what's important to the, not only the Army senior leaders, but through modeling and simulation, what will be important to the Army in the future battlefield. That consistency has been very, very important. The Integrated Visual Augmentation System, or IVAS, mentioned by General Murray, is part of an effort to integrate tactical network systems onto combat vehicles. IVAS uses Microsoft HoloLens 2 headset 
to provide soldiers with improved situational awareness capabilities as they fight, train and rearse missions. IVA's capabilities include a digital display to access information without taking eyes off the battlefield, thermal and low light sensors, rapid target acquisition, aided target identification, and augmented reality. Despite the impact of the pandemic, the Army has been able to collect over 23,000 hours of feedback from soldiers on this system. Army officials have stated that the program is currently on track and the Army will see its first units equipped in Q4 2021.